Hey, what up fam? It's been a long time, but I'm back. And I'm back to show you some more simple and easy recipes. I'm gonna start out with this one, shrimp etouffee. Of course, it's done my way. Simple, easy, delicious, and definitely a crowd pleaser or a loved one pleaser. You'll get a definite second date with this recipe. You wanna see how I do it? Stay tuned. All right, first, what we're gonna do is go in with a stick of butter. I would prefer to have had unsalted butter, but I had salted butter and I'm gonna use what I have. Wasn't that much salt in it anyway to make a big difference. So we're gonna go ahead and melt that into my cast iron pan. And we're gonna just go ahead and let it melt until it gets like a frothy type. Of course, you know you have that last little piece of butter that don't want to go but you're gonna go today so when it gets about like this with you know just bubbly and starting to froth you're gonna go ahead in with a half a cup of all-purpose flour and we're gonna definitely use the most important kitchen utensil ever and that is a whisk that whisk is going to help you to break up those lumps and have a very smooth roux. Now we're not looking for any color on this. We just wanted to stay this blonde color, but we're going to cook it for a couple of minutes so that we can cook out that raw flavor of that all-purpose flour, of course. So we're going to keep it moving to ensure that none of the bits start to get brown on the bottom. Once you've cooked it for a couple of minutes and the raw taste definitely should be gone by now just go ahead and give it a extra whisk to make sure that there's no lumps and then we're gonna go in with our chopped up vegetables I chopped these vegetables very finely Of course you know this video is sped up at this point just to let you know that I did shop these vegetables fresh. If you were wondering what was going on there in the background I had on some good music and I was jamming y'all. I get in my zone I don't know about you but you put on your favorite music and you can just cook for days and not even know that you've been in there for an hour but this recipe mm -mm, not even. So we're gonna go ahead and add our vegetables to our root. Now you do know vegetables carry a lot of water, so it is going to stiffen up your root, but don't worry about it. We're gonna thin it out a little bit later. So go ahead and add those in and make sure that all of your vegetables are coated with the root. That will help them cook down quicker because that roux is already hot like your pan. So once I got them coated with the roux, I went ahead and flattened them out so that they will cook a little faster. On the underside, they'll go ahead and cook and then I'll keep coming back and flattening and flipping until they are cooked down to my liking. You see that root trying to stick to the bottom of the pan don't worry about that we're gonna go ahead and get that up in just a second so as you can see here my vegetables have cooked down quite a bit 
Now they may not be all the way soft, but they are soft enough for me because they're gonna cook longer anyway. So now I'm gonna go ahead in with my favorite Cajun seasoning. You can use your favorite Cajun seasoning of choice. This is what I had. It is a little spicy and I did go in kind of heavy handed, not very much. I would say about a tablespoon, two tablespoons, maybe. But season to your liking. And then now we're gonna go in with shrimp stock. Now, if you don't have shrimp stock, that is okay. Chicken stock will be just fine. And if you want to give it that little bit of flavor, like um, like the shrimp stock, uh, like the seafood taste, you can add about a half a teaspoon of Obey, and that will definitely make your chicken stock have that seafood taste to it. But if you are able to get your hands on shrimp stock, please do now we're still using our whisk because we want to make sure that we're adding this cold liquid to our roux and vegetables which is further going to tighten it up until we all get it to the same temperature so we're going to have to go in with our whisk and make sure that we're breaking up those lumps we want no lumps in here the only lumps that we want is from the vegetables So now all we're doing here is waiting for our liquid to come up to the temperature of the pan. And once you start to see it bubble, go back in and give it another whisk. And now we're gonna go ahead and add some thyme. Time goes very well with seafood. So give that a good sprinkle and mix that in as well. And by this time your roux should be lump free. It is super flavorful at this moment, but we're gonna taste it after we go ahead and let our roux cook for a little while. So at this time, we're gonna go ahead and add a lid and let this cook for about 30 minutes. We're gonna cook it for 30 minutes, but we're only gonna cook it on like a three, a two or three, just to let it simmer and bubble just a tad bit. After that 30 minutes, you see it has separated just a little bit. Go in with your spoon and give it a little mix and mix it on back up. As you can see, it has gotten just a tad bit thicker and that is what we want. We do not want it super thick. We do want it this consistency right here. Now I went ahead and tasted it and I felt like my sauce needed a little bit of salt and a touch of pepper. You go ahead and season yours, taste it, and season it to your liking. When I tell y'all this right here is so good like you really don't have to add any type of meat to it you can spoon this over some rice some noodles whatever it's so good but of course you know i went ahead and cut it down and i'm going to add in my shrimp i went ahead and cleaned it it's deveined detailed and peeled <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and submerge this shrimp into this sauce. I wanna make sure that they're all covered. Now you do know that you do not want to overcook your shrimp or you are gonna have rubber bands. And that is not what we're going for. We're going for nice tender shrimp. So we're gonna go ahead and cook these no longer than three minutes. 
you have to understand that this sauce is already hot and it takes nothing to cook shrimp so I went ahead and submerged them into this sauce y'all know I'm super extra so I got to go in and make sure <laughs> everything is covered but yeah we want to make sure all the shrimp is covered and then we're gonna go ahead and add our lid back to this and we're gonna cook it for three minutes two of those three minutes we're gonna cook it with the lid on the last minute we're gonna take the lid off we're gonna stir from the bottom up to make sure that we get the shrimp that's on the bottom and move them to the top and the ones that's on the top and move them to the bottom just to ensure that all of our shrimp are cooked thoroughly we're gonna cook it for this extra minute like I said it doesn't take long after your shrimp is cooked then honey you are done right here as you can see your shrimp are done all of it is done and your dish is complete all you need right here is some good old rice steam you up some good rice get you a plate now get you a plate and get you a ladle and ladle this shrimp and this sauce around this rice now this is where you get creative and it's really nothing to it this right here is gonna get you a second date this right here might get you in trouble might have you cooking every night you see how easy and how simple this was now go ahead and ladle you over a little bit of sauce on the rice ladle it across make it look nice make it look special and go ahead in with you know you got to add your, your food glitter Y'all know what food glitter is, right? Food glitter. This, right here. Parsley. Has very little taste, if any at all. But it's food glitter. It makes everything pretty. Then you get you a clean napkin and you clean up your sides. And you tell me that plate is not going to get you a second day. It's not going to have your wife shocked get into it y'all this is delicious it's simple it's flavorful I had to move the camera closer so you guys can see that this simple dish makes no sense how easy it is and you even got some left over for later look at that later you can't get any better than this I guarantee you with this dish, you're going to get a second date. You're going to get a second date, maybe a third one. She might even be a girlfriend. I made a little mess here. I went and cleaned it up for y'all. But look, this right here is worth the try. Please go ahead and try this recipe. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode of Chrissy Cooks. If you like this episode, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment in the comment section below for any other recipes that you like to see me create. Okay? This recipe, y'all, gonna get you a second date. Y'all see Darius back there? I love him. <laughs> but anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. All right? Till next time.